Okay. Is the screen clear now? Yeah. Fine. The first one in the evidence is scientific evidence of skill. How we know the scientific evidence? You're going to find the words if true. If true. And it's going to ask you one of the three. Support. Or illustrate. Weaken. Bravo. Or weak. Support and illustrate, you're going to be with. Yeah, you have to provide evidence that with what he said. Weaken to be against. One of the students in the other group asked me today because in my website, I put another qu a question that relate to weaken but with another word. It said misidentify. Yes, misidentify the same thing. Misidentify means to weaken. So it can be these words or their synonyms. يعني نفس الكلمات أو معني ليهم. Okay. So what else? He will ask you to support, illustrate, or weaken a hypothesis or a claim. A conclusion. Or a conclusion. In that case, you have to search. If it's a hypothesis, search for the verb hypothesized. If it's a claim, search for the verb claim. If it's a conclusion, search for the verb conclude. Perfect. Okay, let's solve this. What you want? You want to support. So you're going to be with. Ma. With him. With the same topic. Just man, colleague hypothesis. So I need to search for the word hypothesize. Hypothesize is here. So I'm going to take from this one. The sentence. Do you want me to read all? You can read all in if you have missing information. Yani if you can find معلومة واقعة, نرى كله. But if the highlighted part is complete, done. Let's find. Jan Jisma, Robert Sleek, Ehrlich Jisma have hypothesized that the sail-like structure running down the back of the dinosaur. Okay. He took about now the back of the dinosaur, sail like structure. What did he do? Egypticus improved. Improved means make something positive. The animal success in underwater pursuit of prey species capable of making quick evasive movement. So those sail like structure will let the dinosaur to move fast underwater. I want to support this. I don't need to read more. So the model with the same, okay, took significantly longer to travel. How longer? He said that it's faster. If I said longer, that means weaken, and I want support. The model with the sail displays significantly more water. It's out of topic. We didn't talk about water displacement. The model with the sail had significantly less battery power. We didn't talk about battery. It's out of topic. The model with the sail took significantly less time. Yes, if it takes less time, means that it's fast. To complete a short turn while submerged in the model without the sail dead, yes. So now I support the same topic, that the sail-like structure will help the dinosaur to move fast, so it will take less time. This for the scientific. The second subskill that is called literary. For the literary, it's the subskill under the evidence. He will ask you, or the keyword is the quotation. He will ask you also to illustrate support or weaken. We know the illustrated support you're going to be with. Weaken, you're going to be against. He will ask you 
like the same thing like the scientific conclusion or whatever claim hypothesis and sometimes it was going to ask you a claim but you're not going to find the word claim here you can't find the word claim the only thing that you're going to do forget about the introduction if you can't find the word claim if you can't find the word claim forget about the introduction and just look at something look exactly like the explanation the, pa the paraphrase. So here he said, in the story, the narrator describes Mr. Cronulus Johnson's appearance. So I need something to talk about the appearance of Mr. Johnson as conveying his exaggerated sense of importance. So I need something to talk about the appearance of Mr. Johnson as exaggeration as exaggeration of his importance. Let's find. He, yeah, maybe he took about Mr. Johnson. He carried himself always as if he were passing under his own triumphal arch, like there's an arch of triumph or success, and he's passing under it. Can it be something like exaggeration? Yes, because it shows that all the time there is a kind of triumphal arch around him, above him. And this is a kind of appearance, so it can be A. Let's look at B. The great Prince Albert was cleverly patent about his form. He took about a, a form, a form, shaklu, appearance, and a shiny top hat replaced the felt of the afternoon. Yeah, he took about appearance. But does he show that there is a kind of importance? There is a kind of exaggeration? No. What the meaning of exaggeration, Aisha? Like when I said, I have Lamborghini and I have actually Tutti Kroll. This exaggeration. Clear? Uh, yeah. Okay. But it's like if someone asks you, it's not me. I'm not the one who asks. No, no, no. I just want to clarify for you. Uh, okay, okay. Mr. Cronel Johnson always spoke in a large and important tone. Yes, he said important. But here he took about the tone of the appearance. We talk about the tone of the appearance. I need something to look exactly what he mentioned. It was a beautiful day in Palmy May. The, the setting, the time and place. And the sun shone pleasantly on Mr. Cronachon Johnson versus Bruce Prince Albert suit. Yes, appearance of gray as he alighted from the train in Washington. Here he talk about the setting, the place. And here he talk about the appearance, but nothing show exaggeration that he is important. So the answer is A. Then the second subscale. The third subscale. But Mr. in choice A, it didn't mention the appearance. How? Triumphal arch. يعني على طول حاطط فوقيه كده زي عارفة الحاجة اللي بنعملها في الصالة عندنا كده زي اللي هي بتبقى زي نص سهم أو نص قوس. فهو على طول ماشي فوقيه دوت ان هو على طول ناجح. اوكي بس هنا يعني it's describing his successfulness. فين ال appearance؟ exaggeration about his appearance. If you're looking at someone and every time you look at him, you find that he's looking up. His nose is up. Allah سبحانه وتعالى make a kind of things for his appearance. He said ايه ولا تمشي في الارض مرحا. ها؟ The same thing. تمام اوكي. For the graph or the quantitative, the same thing. We talk about an evidence to so support, weaken, or illustrate. The only thing here that you're going to have graph with you, you have the easiest question if he told you complete. The easiest. Why? Because you're going to look only at the last sentence. Can I add more? Yes, if you feel that you need to add more, and this is going to be level three. But in others, you can solve it immediately if you said complete. Look at the last sentence. What is the other stuff? Support or weaken again with the same way. But here the answer, you're going to get it with a support or weaken from the graph. If he said for you, complete is the easiest part. Complete the easiest part. Okay, let's find this. He want to complete the main contribution to the words urbanization since 1970. He talk about 1970. 
have been countries like Algeria. And you mentioned Algeria that has a triangle. Okay. So this part. Whose population went from? Let's find. In 1970, Algeria is around 40. Here he said less than 20. No. Here less than 40. Maybe. Maybe. Complete in 1970. And around 90 in urban in 2020. Let's find 2020. It's here. Is it 90? No, it's less than 90. So this is wrong. Around 40, maybe. Here in 1970. To more than 70% urban 2020? Yes, it's above 70. So it can be C. The easiest. Around 50 in 1970? No, it's less. So this is wrong. This for the evidence, whether scientific, literary, quantitative. Now the second skill, main idea and details. Main idea and details. The question is going to be easy if it's the main idea. He's going to ask you immediately, what is the main idea? How we can solve the question related to the main idea? First sentence, last sentence. And if you miss between two answers, read the whole text. The main idea, first sentence, last sentence. And if you miss between two answers, after eliminate, after you read first and last, read the whole text. Here actually first and last sentence, complete text. Let's read it. Many intellectual histories of the black power movement of the 1960 and 1970 rely heavily on essay and other explicitly ideological work as primary sources. So those people, those people depend to know about the black power movement on primary sources, a tendency that can over-represent over-represent the perspective of a small number of thinkers. Ah, oh, so it has something negative. When they depend on those primary sources, it makes something negative. Most of whom were male. Okay. Historian, al Historian Ashley D. Farmer has shown that expanding the array. Ah, oh, now this historian try to solve the problem. Try to solve the problem. The array of primary sources to encompass more types of print material, including political cartoons, advertisements, and artwork. So to solve the problem that those kind of primary sources only represent a small number of thinkers, most of them were male, she said to expand, to expand them, leads to a much better understanding of the movement. Which movement? The Black Power Movement. And the crucial and diverse roles that black women played in shaping it. Okay. So before Farmer's research, historian had largely ignored the intellectual dimension of the black bar movement. He didn't say that she ignored. It said they that they depend on primary sources that overrepresent a small number of thinkers. Farmer methods, okay, and research have enriched the historical understanding, yes. It's make much better understanding of black bar movement. Yes, of the movement. And where? Okay. And black women contribution to it. Yes, and black women. Yes. Yes, that was mentioned. Her way enrich the black power movement and black women contribution to it. Other historians of black power movement have criticized farmers. No one criticized her. It wasn't mentioned at all. The figures in the Black Power Movement of whom historians tend to cite would have agreed with farmers. No one criticized or agree with her. It's only a problem. And we see how this historian tried to solve it. This for the main idea. What about the detailed question? The detailed question is going to be like that. In the detailed question, you have to read the whole text. It looks like reading comprehension question that you have to read to find the answer for the question. Here he said, according to the text, why does Bill regularly ask about seafaring men? Why Bill ask about seafaring men? You have to read the whole text. 
The following text is adapted from Robert Louis Stevenson, 1883 novel, Treasure Island. Bill is a sailor staying at the Admiral in Pinball. I need now why he is asking about seafaring men. An end run by the narrator parents. Every day when Bill came back from a stroll, he would ask if any seafaring men had gone by along the road. But why? He didn't tell us. At first, we thought it was the want of company of his own kind. This at first. That made him ask this question. But at last, ah, the answer is here now. We began to see that he was desirous to avoid them. He wants to avoid them. When a seaman did stay at the Admiral Bimbo, as now and then some did, he would look in at him through the curtain door. He disappeared. He didn't want to look at him directly. Before he entered the parlor, and he was always sure to be as silent as a mouse when any such was present. So he isn't sure that other guests at the end will be welcoming of sailors. He didn't say that welcoming or not. He's trying to secure a job as part of the crew on a new ship. He didn't say that he wants to secure. He wants to avoid them. He is hoping to find an old friend and fellow sailor. He didn't want to find. He wants to avoid them. He doesn't want to encounter any other sailor unexpectedly. Yes, he wants to avoid them. So the answer is D. The last skill. The inference. In the inference, he's going to ask you to complete, logically complete the text. What I'm going to do? Read only the last sentence. Read only the last sentence. If you find that there is something missing, take a sentence before. If you find that there is something missing, take a sentence before. So here he said this factor. What kind of factor that he's talking about? No, I don't know what is the factor. So I'm going to take a sentence before. Sometimes you're going to depend only on the last sentence. He said, it is expensive. What it? What is it? So take a sentence before. Like that, this level three. Sometimes you're going to depend only one sentence, the last sentence. Here he said, adaptation to cold temperature. Okay. Adaptations to cold temperature have high metabolic cost. It is expensive. What it is expensive? The adaptation to cold temperature. In terms of energy use for land plants and animals to withstand very cold temperatures. Again, it's repeated. And it gets more expensive the colder it gets. Which means that the lower the air temperature, the fewer species have evolved to survive. So when the air temperature is lower, fewer species will live. When it's hotter, more species will live. I just depend. I made an inference about, about what he mentioned. Have evolved to survive. This factor, which factor? The adaptation to cold temperature. In conjunction with the decline in the air temperature with increasing elevation. Yes, like in a mountain. When you go up, when you go up, it's going to be colder and fewer species. Down is hotter and more species. In mountain ecosystem, you find fewer species high up, as we mentioned here, a mountain, then at the mountain base. So let's find. There are relatively few environments is potable, hospitable to species that are adapted to live in low air temperature. We didn't talk about that there are few or more environments. We're talking about that when it's colder, fewer species. Hotter, more species. And we're talking about the adaptation to cold temperature. There are relatively few species with adaptation. Necessary to tolerate the temperature at high elevation, yes. Few species at high elevation because it's colder. So it can be B. Adaptation that allow plants and animals to survive in rocky environments are metabolically costly. I know that he talk about that it's, it's most metabolically costly. But the main thing for us, that high up in the mountain, colder, fewer species. It doesn't mention here. Some mountain environments are at elevation, so high, 
that no plants or animal can survive them. He didn't say no plants. He said fewer. No, no, it wasn't mentioned at all. So the answer is B. These are the three skills, evidence, main idea, and inference that we're going to start the test on it right now. I'm going to send the link on the group for the test, and you're going to start answering. This test, actually, I took it, not from mine, like the previous one that some of you didn't saw. No, this, I took it from the blue book. So if you are following my instruction and actually studying from the blue book, you're going to get a good mark now.